Have you heard about the mysterious Pumpkin Eclipse cyber attack that bricked over 600,000 internet routers last October? This shocking event disabled countless home and small business internet connections across multiple states. And get this, the culprits behind this massive attack are still unknown. What kind of hackers could pull off something so destructive? Stay tuned as we reveal all the crazy details. In this video, we will explore the shocking cyber attack that took down thousands of internet modems in just 72 hours. So, stick around until the end to discover the actual facts behind this unprecedented cyber attack. Make sure to hit that subscribe button too. Between October 25th and 27th, 2023, an unprecedented cyber attack targeted over 600,000 small office and home office routers across the United States. The attack was so severe that it rendered the infected devices permanently inoperable, requiring a complete hardware replacement for affected users. The event has been dubbed Pumpkin Eclipse by the Lumen Technologies Black Lotus Labs team. The attack specifically targeted three router models provided by a single internet service provider in the US. The Action Tech T3200, Action Tech T3260, and SageGum models. The Pumpkin Eclipse attack was truly unprecedented in its scale and impact. According to Lumen's report, the incident rendered a staggering 49% of all modems from the targeted ISP's autonomous system number inoperable during that 72-hour period. This level of widespread disruption is something that cybersecurity experts have rarely witnessed before. While the identity of the affected ISP remains undisclosed, evidence strongly suggests that it was Windstream a prominent internet service provider based in Arkansas. Around the same time as the attack, numerous Windstream customers took to social media platforms like Reddit, complaining about strange outages and their routers displaying steady red lights, indicating a loss of internet connectivity. The routers now just sit there with a steady red light on the front. They won't even respond to a reset. This has easily cost us over $1,500 in lost business, no TV, Wi-Fi, hours of the phone, etc. So sad that a company can treat customers like this and not care. This was the furious response of the users, who were outraged over the internet's unavailability. They took the Windstream team in hand, blaming them for the issue. Users believe it was the ISP that kept on pushing the new updates that affected their devices. But in reality, something worse was happening behind the curtains. The attack was so massive that it can be undone at the moment, so they have to physically replace the affected devices. But the question is how this massive attack unfolded. Lumen Technologies Black Lotus Labs researchers said that over a 72-hour period beginning on October 25th, malware took out more than 600,000 routers connected to a single autonomous system number, or ASN, belonging to an unnamed ISP. Lumen's analysis also revealed that the culprit behind the sabotage was a commodity remote access trojan called Chalubu. This stealthy malware, first documented by Sophos in 2018, was likely chosen by the attackers because it made it harder to trace back to them. Using this existing malware instead of creating something new could complicate efforts to find out who was responsible. Chalubu is practically dangerous because it can affect many devices and execute any script sent to it making it a versatile tool for cyber criminals. The Chalubo malware is no ordinary threat. It has payloads designed specifically for major solo and IoT device kernels, pre-built functionality to perform disrupted denial of services attacks, and the ability to execute any Lua script sent to the infected device. Researchers suspect that the Lua functionality was employed by malicious actors to retrieve and launch the destructive payload responsible for breaking the routers. While the initial access method used to breach the routers remain a mystery, it is theorized that the attackers may have exploited weak credentials or an exposed administrative interface. Once inside the network, the infection chain proceeded to drop shell scripts that paved the way for a loader designed to fetch and launch the Chalubu Trojan from an external server. The destructive Lua script module obtained by Chalubu is still unknown, but its effects were devastating. It corrupted the firmware on the targeted router models, rendering them completely inoperable and requiring physical replacement for affected users. A notable aspect of the Pumpkin Eclipse campaign is its targeting of a single ASN. 
deviating from typical attacks that target specific router models or common vulnerabilities across multiple providers. This focused approach raises the possibility that the attack was a deliberate targeted strike, although the motivations behind it remain undetermined. Lumen emphasized the gravity of the situation, stating, first, this campaign resulted in a hardware-based replacement of the affected devices, which likely indicates that the attacker corrupted the firmware on specific models. The event was unprecedented due to the numbers of units affected. No attack that we can recall has required the replacement of over 600,000 devices. In addition, this type of attack has only ever happened once before, with Acid Ring used as a precursor to an active military invasion. This comparison highlights the serious and potentially far-reaching implications of the Pumpkin Eclipse attack. While the researchers did not attribute the attack to a nation-state or state-sponsored entity, the implications of such a large-scale destructive campaign are deeply concerning. As Lumen continued saying, The second unique aspect is that this campaign was confined to a particular ASN. Most previous campaigns we've seen target a specific router model or common vulnerability and have effects across multiple providers' networks. In this instance, we observed that both SageCon and ActionTech devices were impacted at the same time, both within the same provider's network. This led us to assess it was not the result of a faulty firmware update by a single manufacturer, which would normally be confined to one device model or models from a given company. Our analysis of the census data shows the impact was only for the two in question. This combination of factors led us to conclude the event was likely a deliberate action taken by an unattributed malicious cyber actor, even if we were not able to recover the destructive module. This attack has left the researchers open mouth, still unsure of the root cause behind it. Different observations have been made, like installing security updates, using malware hardware, or something similar, but the truth is still unknown. The possible reason behind it might be the firmware, Firmware plays a crucial role in the security of modems and routers. Unfortunately, many users don't update their firmware regularly, leaving their devices vulnerable to attacks. Internet service providers also have a responsibility to ensure that the devices they provide are secure and up-to-date. In the case of the Pumpkin Eclipse attack, the affected ISP had to replace over 600,000 modems. This not only disrupted internet access for many users, but also highlighted the need for better security practices. ISPs need to push firmware updates more aggressively and educate their customers about the importance of these updates. Pumpkin Eclipse isn't the only example of modern vulnerabilities being exploited. Another case involved Cox modems, which were found to have authorization bypass issues. These vulnerabilities could have allowed attackers to gain access to the modems, execute commands, and change settings without the owner's knowledge. While there is no evidence linking these specific vulnerabilities to the Pumpkin Eclipse attack, it highlights the broader risks associated with modem and router security. Security researcher Sam Curry discovered these issues and reported them to the ISP. Cox quickly fixed the problems, but the incident revealed just how much control ISPs have over customer devices. If hackers had exploited these vulnerabilities, they could have accessed millions of modems and routers, potentially causing widespread damage. While the investigation into the Pumpkin Eclipse attack continues, cybersecurity experts are left grappling with several unanswered questions. How did the attackers gain initial access to the routers? What was the motivation behind this destructive campaign? And perhaps most importantly, could a similar attack happen again, potentially on an even larger scale? It's a sobering thought, but one that highlights the importance of staying vigilant and taking proactive measures to secure our networks and devices. As the world becomes increasingly interconnected, the consequences of a successful cyber attack can be far-reaching and devastating. In the aftermath of the Pumpkin Eclipse attack, the affected ISP faced a daunting task, replacing over 600,000 brick routers for its customers. This massive logistical undertaking not only incurred significant financial costs, but also caused inconvenience and frustration for users who suddenly found themselves without internet access. The cybersecurity experts and law enforcement agencies worked tirelessly to gather evidence and identify the perpetrators. However, the use of the Chilubu malware and the lack of any clear attribution made the task particularly challenging. Some experts speculated that the attack could have been a test run, 
or a precursor to a larger, more sophisticated operation. The ability to disable hundreds of thousands of routers with a single strike demonstrated the potential for widespread disruption and highlighted the vulnerabilities present in our digital infrastructure. In response to the attack, the affected ISP and router manufacturers implemented additional security measures and firmware updates to address the vulnerabilities exploited by the Chalubo malware. However, the incident served as a wake-up call for the entire industry, prompting renewed efforts to strengthen cybersecurity protocols and better protect critical infrastructure from future attacks. What's your take on the shocking pumpkin eclipse attack? Were you impacted by the outages? Or do you know others who lost internet access? What do you think the hacker's motivations could have been? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, stay safe out there on the internet.